All right, guys, you want a little update on the my C5 Z06 today. Uh, it's been a while since I posted, but a lot of things have definitely changed with the car. Um, currently, um, it was just cammed, but now it's actually got an A&A Pro Charger on it. It's a little dirty right now. I'm working on a, doing an LS3 MAF instead of the LS1 because I maxed out the LS1 on there. Um, I was just doing a review today on the A&A Corvette kit. Um, I've had it on there for about seven months. Um, and it's actually really, really, really good kit. I mean, I think it's the best bang for your buck. I mean, it is a little expensive. I think my kit cost me $5,300 and I had the V3, the V3 Ti. Um, the engine bay is really dirty from around just I had the car sit outside and it's got a lot of grass in it and everything, but the car does do very, very, very well. I actually just switched it over to E85 not too long ago and it's doing 100% better. Uh, it feels a little bit more stronger up top and everything. Um, I haven't had really many issues with it. I had some belt issues a little bit. It's because I had two of these spacers uh, wrong on it. But that was kind of my own fault. And just doing a little update on the build. It's Texas Speed uh, headers, uh, TSP Torker 4 camshaft. Um, it's got the upgraded valve springs. Um, it's on E85, uh, the V3 Ti trim supercharger. I'm just running an NT05 on the back, uh, 305, 3518. Um, it's got the titanium exhaust straight back, pretty much straight pipe to the, the cap back on it. Um, the car is definitely dirty. It's been sitting for quite a while and it's really dusty around where I live. But the car does do really well for itself. I would say it's probably making close to 700. It hasn't seen a dyno, definitely raced a bunch of people and it's definitely hold, held its own a lot of like i raced a couple camaros uh there was a pretty fast mustang i raced a vmp supercharged mustang but i'll give you guys a start up and uh, let you guys hear what it sounds like so i'm running the innovative afr gauge it's probably one of the best gauges i think that's out there it's definitely super accurate which is nice So it starts up really smooth. The tune's really good. It's tuned by uh, Zach Klug, Klug Performance up in uh, uh, Southern Michigan. He does a really good job. And also, I went with the 50 millimeter uh, blow off valve on it. It is super, super loud. You can definitely hear it all the time. But it runs, the car runs really, really strong. I raced a lot of Hellcats and stuff, and there's no. I haven't ran into a Hellcat that's been like different pulley size and stuff. And but when I do, I definitely want to run them for fun. So yeah, that blow off is definitely really loud. Well, I'll take you guys for a drive. It's probably gonna spin a lot, but because uh, I'm not on the highway or anything, I'll give you guys a drive down the road with it. All right. Oh, well, we got her all clean now. So we'll take it for a drive. Just wanted to mention. I forgot to say anything about the fuel system. Um, it's uh, 60 pounds that came with the, the kit from a and Corvette and then it also has a Deech Works 400 pump in the rear in the tank so it's at 90% duty cycle so it's uh, just about to lose yeah I really can't push any more power out of the car now unless I upgrade the fuel system well, let's go take it for a drive One of the first things I wondered when I was thinking about supercharging the car, what's the drivability, drivability going to be like? And to tell you the truth, it really hasn't changed much at all. It still drives just like a normal car until you really get the boost on it. Um, it definitely, it doesn't, it doesn't balk it. It really has no issues driving at all. It still feels like a normal car. You don't have to hit any boost if you really don't want to. But when you want to lay into it, it does make some pretty good power up top. Now, it being a centrifugal supercharger, it doesn't really start making any boost until the higher, the faster the motor goes, the more boost it makes. Which, I mean, me going into it, I thought, I, I don't know, I knew it was gonna be like that, but it definitely is a little bit of a different feeling. It's not like just a regular supercharged car where you got to, where you just hit the gas, pretty much we have full boost. But, I mean, every car is pretty much different, every setup is different. Um, on the ANA uh, head unit, I have a 3.4 pulley on it. The kit came with a 3.6, and with a 3.6, it made about 
I uh, made about eight pounds of boost, and now with the three, four pulley, it's making right at 12 pounds. So I would say it was probably a gain of, well, probably about 60 horsepower changing that pulley out, and it definitely made a lot of a difference. Um, I, I have the six rib set up with the newer a a kit where they use the billet tensioners and everything, and I have no issues with bell slip at all. Um, it's got two really, really, really good tensioners on it, and one spring loaded, one you load it while, when you put in the kit or when you're putting the belt on the car. Uh, only thing I don't like about the kit is, of course, when you got to, if for some reason you have to change a belt, you pretty much got to pull the whole head unit off of it. But it's you don't have to pull it all the way off, but you still got to pull it away from the car. It takes right about an hour, uh, but I'd say 45 minutes if you're pretty good at it. I think I've done it in 45 minutes, which isn't too bad. Make a pretty good time. Um, and I've had, I've already put about 2,000 miles on this, I would say, on the supercharger and changed oil and everything. And I have no complaints about it. And it still does really good on gas. Um, the blow off is loud if you want it to be, but if you get high up in the RPMs, if you get high in the, up in the RPMs, that's when it's really loud. But if you stay low in the RPMs, it, you don't hear it at all. So there you really don't, I, I, there's not really any issues there. But for me, going into it, I thought, hey, it might, it might drive hard, it might just act really funny. Well, I had absolutely no issues, and it really surprised me. Well, when I get an open road here, we'll do a couple of pulls for you and see, see what you guys think. All right, we'll roll into it in third a little bit right here. Just leave me in the comments and then I can answer whatever questions you guys have. Alright man, thanks.